Watch us, watch us. Can you smoke? Yeah, I've smoked you, but... Oh, my game's bugged. My game's bugged. I can't even run or anything. Uh, you can run? I can't yeah. run. You can sprint? No, my tax spin's broke. You see your, like, secondary... Something you can throw, you know? Wait, Something I you can throw or use, like, team shot. Oh, yeah, 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 there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I get a Yeah, let's push it. I don't know. I've got, I've got drill charge. I can't fold yeah, my drill. Inside, inside. Can't, I can't. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, inside. Inside. I can't run, bro. I got that bug. Sorry, sorry. Bro, I, I literally still cannot change my attachments. I, it's all broke. Like, all my attachments are locked. Like, I can't do anything right now. If I, if I create a new class right now, say that I want this. All my weapons, all, all my blueprints, everything is just locked. I can't use anything. Yo, 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 what is going on, ladies and gents? We've got a couple of issues that we need to talk about in today's video. It's about Warzone Mobile and some issues within the game, such as bugs, glitches, just like you saw in the intro. And what are they going to do about it? Well, today I've got you covered, so drop a like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's hop straight into this one. Before the video continues, this video is actually sponsored. Today's video is sponsored by a brand new mobile game, entertaining cross-platform features. Welcome to World of Warships Legends. We welcome yet another an amazing game with next-gen graphics and audio to the mobile platform coming across from the PlayStation and Xbox consoles. This mobile game features cross-platform so you can show those console players who is boss. This awesome MMO naval action mobile game is jammed full of goodies, including full touch customization controls control to give you the best performance while playing on your mobile devices along with a console like experience filled with constant new maps new events missions challenges making sure there is something new in the game so you're always satisfied and never bored game modes include a 9v9 game mode or you can embark on the 3v3 v3 v3 game mode for the absolute carnage action so you can actually command your fleet with ships from 11 nations and with regular updates, adding new missions and vessels. You can choose battleships with huge firepower, cruisers for all well-rounded attacks, or even go with the destroyers for a swift surprise attack. So what are you waiting for? Get on the waters now. Download the game in the link in the description down below and get yourself a starter pack for all the mobile players out there. All right, starting this one off then, okay, the biggest one for me, right, right now is the weapon and loadout bug. You cannot change your weapons, you cannot change your attachments, and if you haven't set up loadouts, you're not going to be able to set up one, because there's an issue, as you saw in the intro, and I'm going to show you again now in the background, you cannot do anything. Now, Warzone Mobile has quickly um, adapted to this and issued their statement saying, this, year, this issue has been harder than anticipated to release a fix for. So while we wanted to get it out to you all ASAP, it can be deployed immediately, quickly, and it's going to take a few more days to push that out through a larger fix patch. Thanks for the patience, and thank you again to all those who have helped us immediately investigate, report, and figure out the issue in the first day of the new release of Season 3. It has been a few days since they actually uh, you know, put that message out. It was the 5th, which was three days ago. Now, are we going to see that fix this week? Are we going to see it next week? I haven't got the answer for you there, but I truly think like this is a huge problem. Of course, I'm not going to talk about optimization and all that stuff just yet because we're all we're all we're all fully aware of what's going on. But um, the loadouts and attachments being locked, this is definitely something that needs to be fixed ASAP. Even people that are running low FPS and low optimization, they're still playing the game. But this issue right here is a major like turn off. Like this is what I making people like play other games right now because playing with default weapons while everybody else has already got loadouts from the previous season it's not very fair all right so the next one is graphical and texture streaming issues now they said there's been a fix already being pushed out to deal with the majority of the issues where the textures and graphics were not being loaded in after all the update however we still have another fix on its way and will likely come at the same time as the weapons and attachments patch now if you guys don't know what this is basically what they did they explained that people with low wi-fi was experiencing bad texture download rates 
So when you was going into the game, it would look like uh, the textures would look like clay and it would take a what like multiple games to get those textures downloaded. Now, I'm going to be honest. And I'm going to speak for the community here. I truly believe what they should do is exactly what COD Mobile have done. Just be able to download the assets individually themselves instead of needing to load up the game and play a couple of games every single day just to get the textures loaded in. I think streaming textures is a bad idea because not everybody plays on Wi-Fi. They play on their 4G, 3G, 5G um, it, like internet for their phone providers. And streaming textures is going to be a hefty lot of data used. If they add that download button, I truly believe that would be a huge, huge thing for Warzone Mobile. Having all your textures, all the maps and everything like that, all the weapons, all the bundles already downloaded. Because another issue that I face, I'm going to show you on screen right now as well. When you're loading up the store and you're trying to check out some new weapons and characters that you want to purchase, it takes like a good 5 to 10 seconds on the latest iPad to actually let the textures like download and show you what the character is now if i wasn't on wi-fi or on the latest ios device that could take a lot longer now i don't know how long it takes you guys but have a download button download all the textures all the bundles all the store weapons and all that good stuff and that is a problem solved of course it's easier said than done but i think that is definitely something that they need to do in the future now moving on then certain weapon camos not progressing or unlocking the good news is we have multiple camo related issues already tracked and plans for future fixes. However, it isn't clear if these have to wait until the larger patch, like the type that go with a brand new seasonal update. We'll keep checking and reporting examples though, so please keep sharing. Now this is another issue, of course with a loadout bug and issue, like I said at the start of the video, that is also interfering with this because people can't even level up their weapons properly and get their camos unlocked because there's an issue stopping them from doing that. So the only way you can really do that is like going through loopholes or just going over to console and PC to level up your weapons and get the camos for. Which again, defeats the objective of Warzone on a mobile platform. Like we want to be able to do that on mobile. Now, like I said, and like Dave said, they found the issue, but they don't know how long it's going to take to fix. And then moving on then, the season two, season three battle pass issue. We've seen some issues with players purchasing the battle pass before their game was updated to the latest build, which resulted in the purchase failing to grant them the new season three battle pass. If this happened to you, please use the help function in game to reach out to Activision player support teams who can help investigate and fix the issue if possible. Thanks for the reports. Now that's all the information they've given us. Now the battle pass issue is kind of bad. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to paint paint a picture for you guys of a good way. Um, you know, purchasing something and not receiving the item for it and then needing to contact help to get that resolved. That is kind of a major issue. And is this going to be the case for not only the battle pass, but items in the store and stuff? We don't know just yet. But again, Warzone Mobile are giving clean communication, especially with the new update that has only now just released. These issues should have kind of been resolved within a few days of that. But of course, Warzone Mobile being brand new and their main focus is the optimization of the game right now. What is the step forwards from here? Because of course, the new update, like I said, I wanted to talk about at the start of the video, the new update for me has made the game slightly worse. And I've spoken to a lot of other people that are playing on high tech um, iOS iPad devices, and we are getting less FPS and more stutters within the game. So what? can they do moving forwards now i'm gonna be honest i truly believe like I, I i know that they probably couldn't do this but maybe just turning off the servers for like a week or two and getting all of these issues resolved and then resume the live service because at the moment the google play and ios app store ratings are not the best and i just truly feel sorry for the team um before you guys attack me for saying that but it's a large project. They're working on a PC engine for an FPS game that was never designed for mobile gaming. Now that that there's a huge like issue in itself. Now they've managed to get it on a mobile device. It's just not going the way that they was expecting. So all these issues that you guys, of course, are bringing up, complaining about, and stuff like that, the devs are fully aware. They're, they're all they're all aware of these. And you know what? I'm gonna give them respect because they did go over to Shanghai literally on like launch week just to get more fixes done. It is just going to be a forever battle for the next couple of months until the game is in a state where it's fully optimized and fully playable for the majority of players. Hopefully all the players. But like I said before, 
Core Duty Mobile, they also did have an issue at the very beginning. It did take them a couple of weeks, not a couple of months, but you know, it was an ongoing thing that took them a while to fix to get the game optimized for everyone. You know, the game's what, four or five years old now? And it runs on pretty much every device. Warzone Mobile will eventually get there. It just needs more time. Now, like I've said it numerous times in my, my previous videos, if you want to give feedback, there's a difference between constructive feedback and just pure hatred. Understand your frustrations. I get my frustrations as well. I've currently got frustrations with a couple of the issues, especially the loadout one, because uh, it's stopping me from live streaming and making content because I get bored very quickly because I'm stuck with just like one gun. I want to use all the guns, level them all up and just have something to grind for because there's no ranked. There's nothing to grind for except for camos and, you know, leveling up your weapons, which I can't do right now. So again, frustrations are heard, but keep it constructive feedback, guys. If you've got any more issues, leave them in the comment section down below. Again, all these comments and stuff, I do feedback to the developers. I send over my URL link to my Twitter pages when I ask for feedback or videos. I am truly trying as hard as I can to you know, get your voices heard as long as you guys keeping it clean. All right, constructive feedback, like I said. But anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. I just wanted to go over some of the, you know, the update from Warzone Mobile and what their plans are moving forwards. And I will keep you up to date. If there's any more news, you know I've got you covered in the next video and I will forever be here to support you guys, okay? So any issues, I'm happy to also help if I can. But guys, without further ado, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.